in Storyline you can insert audio into your courses. Go to Insert, and you've got the Audio button. If you click on that, it'll take you straight into adding a file. If you click on it below there, you can add audio from file. You can record from a microphone. So if I wanted to record, I click on the little record icon here, and then it will record it. There you go, start recording in a couple of seconds. Save that. You can see it gets added to the timeline here. Go back to insert. You can do text to speech. So I'll give you a preview. Hi, my name is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. So you can hear that the voice is quite a computer generated voice. But what you would do, you would type in your text in here and then you would click insert and it adds an audio file in there as well. Alternatively, you can go to audio from file. And this means you've got to add it in yourself. So find it from wherever it is on your computer, select it, open. You can see the audio files being added in here. So I just move these along in the timeline. If you do have different pieces of audio, then don't have them overlapping each other. That's my advice because uh, they'll play all at the same time. You've got these speaker icons here, okay? Now, these are just off the slide. It doesn't matter if they're on it. So I'll show you now. I'll move them onto there. It doesn't matter. Um, it will not show up in the preview or when you publish the course. So let's preview this now. Hello. When have you seen fatigue? Write a few words about a time when you have seen someone with fatigue. I'll click the little speaker icon here. So this is what the user would use to mute it. Now I've got the seek bar along here or timeline. Officially it's called a seek bar. So this is a way in which a user could control this. Now I've added that seek bar by going into the player. I wouldn't normally have it on. So it's that one there. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's not on. It would just be like this. There'll be a speaker icon on the left and there'll be no seek bar. What it means is that a user cannot control the audio. Hello. When have you seen fatigue? Write a few words about a time when you have seen someone with fatigue. So you could hear the audio is playing, but there's no way of rewinding it or going backwards without that seek bar. If you turn the seek bar on, it'll be on every slide of your e-learning course. So do bear that in mind. And it'll be on for the length of a timeline. So in this case, this timeline is 246 seconds. It'll be on for that length. If I went to another course of which the timeline is five seconds, it'll be on for that length. You can edit audio. Select the audio you want to edit, right click on it, edit audio. Using the left mouse button, highlight the area. So click once and then just drag. And if you select crop, it'll pull that section out. Save and close. And you'll see that the timeline's now changed.